so I'm mixing, or I'm weighing out my lye right now. That's what I'm doing. Oops, that's too much. That's what I need. Okie dokie. Let's see if we can get Kim on the phone. What do you think? I won't tell her. Should I tell her we're on YouTube or? Let's just see. I'm talking to the camera. <laughs> I'm going to get another YouTuber on the phone. <laughs> okay. All right. Hey, Kim. Hey, Ronnie, what's up? Oh, nothing. I'm just making soap right now. How are you doing? I'm cooking dinner. Oh, what are you making? Um, what is it? Steakhouse maple pork chops. Oh, that sounds good. Those sopapillas you made the other day look really good. Oh, I have you on the speakerphone because I'm making a video right now. I said, let's see if we can get Kim on the phone. <laughs> All right, well, I'll let you get back to dinner then. Talk to you later. All right, Kim's making dinner right now. Okay, so here, this is aloe and water. Got Kim on a little surprise call there. I love you. I love you too. Okay, so here's my oils. This is going to be another organic soap. So I have um, organic coconut, sunflower, palm, and olive oils. My, also my aloe gel and my aloe juice is also organic. My essential oil is not. The, al the ginger juice is. And the ground ginger is not. So we're working with mostly organic ingredients today. Okay, I'll cut out a lot of this loud stirring. Okay, so I stirred it up a little bit, and I'm just going to let it rest here for a minute. Um, anyway, Kim was not expecting that phone call, in case you were wondering. I just I just kind of uh, got her on there, and if you don't know who Kim is, she is calling back right now, and she's at Nature's Art. Hello? Hold on, i got to put you on speaker. Hello? Hello. Hey, what you doing? <laughs> I'm making ginger soap right now. You're making what soap? Ginger. Ginger soap. No, ginger, silly ginger, like the spice. <laughs> yeah, so I'm making ginger. I have this awesome um, organic ginger juice, and I have ginger essential oil, and lots of ground ginger. So it's going to be one of those, you know, energy boosters. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah, that's going to smell amazing. Yeah, I can't wait to until it's done. I'm just I'm mixing it right now, and it's kind of you know I like to let it rest and then mix it some more and let it rest until it gets to the right consistencies. No, it's doing fine. I'm gonna I'm gonna do a swirl in the pot, so I'm kind of 
keep it nice and thin if I can. I'm a little worried that the ginger essential oil might accelerate it just based on the way it smells. That's what I was wondering, if it was speeding up or not. Yeah, I haven't put it in yet. It's, I'm not even at a trace yet, so, but that's, I'm going to, I'm going to mix in the, uh, the ginger juice first and then the essential oil because I, I'm a little concerned that it might speed up my trace, but hey, there's yeah. always, there's always a plan B and if it doesn't work, then <laughs> I mean. I separate, I separate out your, uh, your colorant before you add it too. Well, I'm going to just use the ginger powder as colorant. I don't know if it will create a contrast, but we'll see. Hmm. Isn't that pretty bright, though? Um, the ginger powder is, is just kind of a fleshy color, like a nude color. Yeah, that's what I mean. It's a bright. It's not like it's a, a really... Hmm. I said you could use a cocoa. Oh, you could use cinnamon. Yeah, but then, but then it'll be cinnamon ginger. <laughs> Uh, well, I have a bunch of aloe in this too, so I'm just kind of going for the ginger and aloe thing for, uh, you know, like for either either for an energy boost or it's actually good for mature skin since it promotes elasticity and firmness and reduces inflammation. You know, I got a ton of annatto. Oh, that sounds really nice. I should send you some of that. Yes, you should. <laughs> Oh, wow, that sounds great. Yeah, I'll back them up and send them out to you. Because I hardly ever use it. Awesome. Well, hey, I'll try it. Yeah. You want to trade for something? No, 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 you go ahead. It's one of those things I got from another soaper and got from another soaper. <laughs> it's, like, it's like making the sourdough bread, huh? That's exactly what it is. It's all grown from our own batches. <laughs> okay. Well, sure, I'll hold up the tradition. <laughs> All right. Well, I didn't know if you needed anything from me or not, sweetie. Okay. Oh, I'm just being silly. <laughs> <laughs> but that's fun. It is I fun. Think it'd be cool to be on video. Yeah, everyone, this is Kim from Nature's Art. Check her out. <laughs> no, just to have each other on the phone when we're videoing. That's fun. Yeah, that's what I thought. I said, well, let's get Kim on the phone. All right, well, let me get back to this, and you get you get back to your dinner, and we'll, we'll talk later. Bye. Okay. Let's see. Now how do I turn? There we go. All right. So, yes, that's Kim from My Nature's Art, or Nature's Art. It's MyNature'sArt.net is her website. But I think that her YouTube is Nature's Art. Or maybe it's My Nature's Art. Well, I can't remember right now, but... Anyways, I'm just making soap. So, let me cut out some stirring and I'll start filming again when I'm at a tree. Okay, I probably have about a light trace right now. Yeah, I do. Okay, so I'm gonna... I'm gonna mix in this ginger juice. This is ginger juice. I had never seen anything like this and then I just saw it in the store and I was already thinking about making a ginger soap so I was like yay bonus. So this is basically somehow liquefied ginger root and it smells so strong. It smells like well it's I think it smells stronger than the essential oil even if you could possibly even believe that. And now I'm going to Try and uh, mix in this essential oil, quickly separate it off, add in ground ginger, and then do a swirl in the pot. Um, like I said to Kim, I, I'm a little concerned that it might accelerate my trace. Accelerating, so that's good. I'm grabbing myself some aloe gel right now. I have um, organic aloe gel. Let's see how much of this am I adding? I am adding four ounces. Actually, I'm adding four and a half ounces because that's what I weighed out. And here is the organic aloe gel. So let's see. All 
right. So I don't know if this uh, swirl in the pot will create contrast. And I, it was a good suggestion from Kim to do cinnamon because cinnamon would give it a lot of contrast. I just didn't want it to be a cinnamon soap. Anyway, let's see how this does. <laughs> I can handle a little bit more color in here, or a little bit more color. Oh wow, this will make a contrast. I'm so excited. I mean, it's not going to be like pink and blue, it's going to be like brown and yellow, or red and yellow, or ginger and yellow, or, you know, whatever it looks like, but this will create a contrast, so I'm happy. You know, I don't always know what's going to happen. Let me get my little thingy, cup. All right, so here we go. I'm about ready to pour this. Let me make sure this is still, yeah, nice and, nice and fluid. Okay, so I'm going to do a swirl in the pot, which means I pour the one color into the other color and pour it low, pour it high, pour it left, pour it right, so that it goes down and up and the color is just kind of everywhere. Pour it slow and pour it fast. All these different ways of pouring it, just make sure that it's evenly, you know, down lower in the solution as well as up higher. Oh man, I got soap on my camera. That is not good. Hold on. Don't know how that happened. Well, at least I'll have a clean camera. But oh, that's not good. That's not good. That's not good. Okay, I'll get the rest later. All right. And the reason why I thought of Kim is because we have um, this. But we both have molds that are like this, the no liner kind of molds. So let's gently pour the ginger soap into the. First, make sure they're tightened my eyeballs in there and check really quick because the last thing I want is any kind of unwelcome leakage. Okay. There we go. This is the big um, four to five pound loaf. Let me move this back and then grab my small loaves, which I had them ready, <laughs> so prepared. Okay, so the ginger essential oil did not accelerate my trace, so that's good, that's good news. Let's get one more. I think I'll get one more loaf out of this. And maybe some samples too. Let's see, I can put a little more in here. Oh, there we go. Okay. That's that. Alright, let's see if I can get a little thing to just make my tops look pretty. Oops. Okay. It's in my 
toolbox here. Okay. I'm usually a little more organized, but that's okay. All right, I'm done. So here's a look at the ginger soap. All right, I'll try and film this getting cut too. Well, I'm gonna cut this one. I won't be cutting these. I'll sell them as loaves. Bye.